What is contextual clues? Context clues consist of words in a sentence or paragraph that enable you as a reader to reason out or identify the meaning of words that you don't understand or words that you are unfamiliar with. So writers usually build in the clues in order to help you, the reader, understand the materials you are reading. When you are reading and you encounter an unfamiliar word, ask yourself, what would this word have to mean in order for it to make sense in this sentence? And then look for clues that will enable you to reason out or uh, interpret or infer the meaning of the words that you don't understand or words that you are unfamiliar with. Okay, there are five types of uh, techniques that you can use in contextual clues. Okay, the first one is by looking for definition or synonym clue. So here, a definition usually introduced by phrases or words such as is defined as, means, is known as, refers to. Or sometimes it is uh, printed in a special print or color. For example, in different color or uh, printed out in, italicized or the words is being underlined. Okay, so when you come across these words or phrases like is defined as means is known is known as referred to automatically you know that the writer is trying to give you the definition or synonym clue towards uh, words that you don't understand or unfamiliar with so here a synonym a synonym here refers to words a uh, word that means the same thing so here uh Phrases, the phrases or words that usually use in order to introduce a synonym is by using these words or these words or phrases. In other words, that is by this we mean or the word or. So when you come across these phrases or words, uh, you know that the writer is trying to give you a synonym clue, words that have similar meaning. Okay, the definition or synonym clues may be set off also by using commas, parentheses, a colon, dashes, or bracket. Okay, for example, okay, have a look at this passage. Among the most extreme of personality types is the uh, psychopath or sociopath, coma, an individual who lacks not only self-control but also the capacity to experience guilt or sense of caring, responsibility or obligation to others. So here, when you come across, for example, for instance, you come across the word psychopath and sociopath and you don't understand or, you, or it's the terms that you are unfamiliar with. So here, as you can see, after the use of coma, the writer is giving a definition of what the word psychopath or sociopath means. It is refers to individual that lacks of self-control and also uh, the capacity to experience guilt and etc. Okay, next, psychiatrist Thomas Suss has been arguing for years that mental illness is a myth or fictitious construct. So, for example, you are not quite familiar with the word myth. You don't understand what is the word myth means. Okay, have a look at the word, ha have a look at the use of the word or here. So, here the writer is giving you clues that uh, synonym, okay, that myth is myth or in other words, fictitious construct. So, here myth, the word myth here means fictitious construct okay next the second uh, types of contextual clues is by using contrast 
clue. Contrast clue here refers to the use of an antonym, which is the opposite word for the unfamiliar words. Okay, uh, words that are used, words or phrases that are used to indicate uh, antonym or the opposite is when you come across these words of phrases, automatically you know that um, the writer is trying to give you a contrast clue. Okay, the word of the phrases are but, in contrast, however, on the other hand, although, instead of. Okay, example here. Have a look at this sentence. Depressants have the opposite effects of stimulants. Okay, you come across the word depressants and you're not quite familiar with it. So in order to identify or better understand what the word depressants mean, you have a look at the rest of the words. Have the opposite effects of stimulants. So from this sentence, we know that depressants is something that is of the opposite of the word stimulants. So uh, once you know the what the word stimulants mean, you kind of grab the idea that depressant is the opposite of stimulants. Next. Okay, the third contextual uh, the third contextual clues are by you by using example clue by looking for example clue. So here example uh, example here uh, that illustrate the meaning of unfamiliar words often introduced by using the words or phrases like for example to illustrate, such as, and like. Okay, example here, opiates, bracket, in bracket, such as alcohol, morphine, codeine, and heroin, and other narcotics are extremely addictive and require regular and increasing dosage to avoid withdrawal symptoms. So, for an instance, for, for an instance, you are not familiar with the word opiates. So in this sentence, the writer is giving you example of substance uh, that include under the word opiates. So here from this uh, paragraph, we understand uh, from this sentence, we understand that opiates here, opiates here refers to uh, substance like alcohol, morphine, codeine and heroin. All right. Next, next, you can also use your general sense of the sentence in order to uh, look for clues that can give you idea of words that you are unfamiliar with. So here, this technique usually is based on your general knowledge or experience. In other words, your schemata, schemata. Determine what the word would have been, would have to mean in order for it to make sense in that sentence. For example, when employees in an energy efficient airtight building begin having headache, nausea, uh, eye, nose and throat irritation, investigators suspect sick building syndrome as the cause. So you come, for example, you come across this term sick building syndrome and it is something that you are unfamiliar with. So in order to help you to understand the term, you probably are quite familiar with the word syndrome. And syndrome here refers to uh, things that you feel or a uh, sign that you experience that, mi that, might, uh, give you, that might give you clues to your illness. So here... Uh, some sort of sign to an illness is given to you in the previous words in the same sentence like headache, nausea, eye, nose and throat irritation. So from this, you kind of have like a, a, a rough idea that sick building syndrome here refers to this sign, headache, nausea, eye, nose and throat irritation due to uh, uh, employees being in an airtight building. 
And last one would be by using clue from another sentence. So here, information in another sentence can also help you to explain the unfamiliar word. Okay, for example here. Different parts of the culture change at different speed. Half a century ago, William Ogburn suggested that technological changes in a society often occur faster than social changes. He referred to this disequilibrium as cultural lag. So you come across uh, the term cultural lag, and it is a term that you're not un uh, a term that you are unfamiliar with. So, uh, okay, uh, when you're using this type of technique, clue from another sentence, you will try to have a look at the previous sentence. In the previous sentence, it states that uh, different parts of the culture change at different speed. And Ogburn here suggests that technological changes in a society often occur, occur faster than social changes. So from this, from this previous uh, explanation, you can have a rough idea or conclude that, oh, cultural lag here refers to the technological changes in a society that occur uh, faster than the social changes. Okay. So uh, to summarize, uh, when you're using interpreting, interpret, interpreting meaning of words, interpreting the meaning of words that you don't understand or unfamiliar with, you usually will use uh, your contextual clues skills, techniques. So in your contextual clues techniques, there are five techniques that you can use. The first one by looking out for the definition or the synonym clue given to you in the passage. Second, you can also look out for a contrast clue uh, when the writer is giving you uh, an uh, antonym of the word or phrases that the word or phrases that you don't understand. The third one is by using example clue. Okay, when a further example is given uh, next to the uh, terms or words that you are unfamiliar with. The fourth one is by using general sense of the sentence. When you use your uh, general knowledge or existing knowledge, your schemata, in order to have a rough idea of the words that you're not familiar with. And last one is by using clue from another sentence. Okay. Um, so I hope that you can um, apply the reading script, the, the reading skills that you learned today uh, later on in your reading comprehension during your final exam. And have a nice day. Goodbye.